Hey, what's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool and simple drone farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition so if you guys are excited for that make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and without further ado let's get right into today's video. This video is another suggestion from one of you guys, specifically from Connection, I hope I'm saying that name right, but the comment asked me can I actually make a drowned farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and since you guys are watching this, obviously I can, but first the comment was can I make a guardian farm, and guardian farms in Minecraft Pocket Edition, Bedrock Edition, however you wanna call it, are kinda hard to make and they are definitely really laggy, they can definitely break your game if you use them incorrectly, and also, if any of you guys have been watching me for some time, you know that I can't really stay near the ocean because I lag like crazy over there, so it's kinda impossible for me to make it. But the drowned farm is really easy to set up, especially if you have a zombie spawner. You can see I have a little bit of the redstone and stuff exposed over here, using some glass, just to try and explain what's happening a little bit easier. Over here we actually have our spawner, and you can see it's in a 9x9 room right here. Four blocks from each side of the spawner, just like this. The ceiling is three blocks away from the actual spawner, as you can see right here, and the floor is four blocks down, and basically this is really easy to set up, once you actually find yourself the zombie spawner, you are going to need to dig this area down, so make sure that you dig four blocks in each direction, three blocks for the ceiling and four blocks for the wall. Because the room is 9x9 nine nine and because the water travels 8 blocks, you can basically have it in any corner. Depends on which way you actually want your zombies to go. If you want them to go in this direction, you are going to have the water on this side. But you can see the water is placed right here in the far corner and it's going to travel 8 blocks. Again, since this is a 9x9 nine nine room, you can see that the water is going to stop right here. Then once the water stops, we're going to need to have two blocks uh, drop right over here. And in each corner, we are basically going to place the water bucket. That way, they can actually meet in the middle right here, and the zombies are going to travel right here. You can see that the water is actually going to stop from four blocks from where they actually meet. Once uh, the water stops, we're going to have blue eyes or pack eyes just to help with the zombies and the moving of them. We're going to need two buttons to actually stop the water from the bubble column that we're going to have after the little ice. We are just using salt sand on the end of that to just make them travel upwards right over here and you can see at the top we have some more water pushing them down into our killing chamber. Because we're gonna be turning the zombies into the drowned mobs we don't need to have that 23 or 24 block uh, drop down to make them 1 heart uh, HP. Uh, the reason for that is because even though they have like 1 heart and we turn them into the drowned mobs they're going to replenish all of their health so there is no reason to drop them down from any heart. You can just have it go to your uh, desired area where you actually want to have the killing chamber But you can see we just have a button stopping that water because we don't need it to actually go 8 blocks So you can see that's really easy to set up Once they actually fall right here they're going to go into the killing chamber Where we have a couple of the hoppers right there To just make it a little bit easier to collect all of the stuff We have a trapdoor right here to make the Baby zombies stay in that little killing chamber right here and right here where their head would be we have the dispenser with the water bucket inside and one block above that we have a piston to stop all of the other zombies from dropping down. I'm going to demonstrate this just by filling this hole, this is going to make the room dark right there and we're gonna start having some zombies spawn. You can see that they are going to end up in this chamber right over here and the first one is not actually going to go because we need some of the other zombies to actually push them right here into the chamber. You can see this baby is kind of resisting but once a more zombie spawn it's basically going to push it and it's going to end up in this stream right here. So hopefully we're gonna be able to see that in a second. There we go, all of the zombies are going to push the babies and all of them are going to end up in this little killing chamber right here. 
This lever is basically connected to observer, which is connected to the dispenser. The reason for that is because we are using the lever to actually activate the piston. And if we didn't have the observer, we were going to need to actually activate and deactivate this lever a couple of the times to actually retract the water. But because we have the observer right here, once we press uh, this uh, lever right here, we can see that the piston is going to get extended. And that's basically going to stop any of the new zombies to dropping into our killing chamber right here. And you can see we dispense the water and after a little while, these zombies are actually going to start shaking and they're going to turn into the drowned mobs. Once they turn into the drowned mobs, they're actually going to drop all of the armor in exact good shape. It's not going to have any durability missing. And all of these things are going to end up right here into our chest because we have some of the hoppers basically leading the items right there. But you can see we have the separation right here, all of the zombies are going to travel right here, but because we have the pistons separating them, they are not going to be able to interfere with the drowns right over here. You can see all of them are turned into the drowns, we are going to get all of this armor basically untouched, and you can basically use uh, uh, this to decorate your stuff or something like that. And you can see all of the armor is going to end up right here, we can basically go ahead and kill these guys. To make the room for new zombies over here, the reason we have the piston is because we don't want to have the mixture between the drowns and the zombies, because that will just mean that we are not going to get the specific drops from the drowns. You can see once we press the lever, the water is going to get retracted and also our piston, and all the new zombies that were waiting their turn to get turned into the drown mobs and actually killed, they are going to be right there, and we can basically press this lever again to turn them into the drown mobs, and again to have a little separation system right over here. You can see all of the drops are gonna end up right over here and we can again just wait for them to kinda shake down and basically turn into the drowned mobs. But you can see this farm is really easy to set up and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So these are the blocks that we're going to be using for this one, with of course exception of the glass, because I'm just going to be using that to show you guys how the farm works, and of course we're not going to need a zombie spawn egg, and of course the monster spawner in survival, because you need to find those things. You can see I'm not going to name all of these items, because we mostly need just one of those items, so you can see them once I actually build the farm. What we're going to start off is with torch spawner right here, if you're doing this in survival, once you find that you want to secure it with the torches, but since I'm in creative, we are just gonna have a monster spawner right here without of the zombie inside. What we need to do is actually go and dig a 4x4 four four area around the spawner that would make a 9x9 nine nine room, so you need to go 4 uh, blocks in each direction from the spawner, you can see we have 4 blocks right there, 4 blocks right over here, and do the same for other sides. Just like that, we are also going to need to have our ceiling 3 blocks high, so you can see that's where our ceiling is gonna need to go, right over here, and we also need to go 4 blocks down from the actual spawner for the floor, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, 5 block right over here, so that's going to give us 4 block space, and we basically need to make a room around this. Obviously, if you're doing this in survival, you're just going to need to dig the whole area out, but I'm just gonna fill these uh, walls and of course the ceiling with the block of my choice. Let's just go over the dimensions one more time, so from the spawner you need to have the ceiling 3 blocks away just like so, to maximize the spawning, and of course from the spawner you need to dig 4 blocks in each direction like this, that's going to give us a 9x9 nine nine room, and of course from the spawner to the floor you need to have 4 blocks, so 1, 2, 3 and 4 just like this, and again this is the way to maximize the spawning of the zombies, and of course any other mob that you can get in the actual spawner. Once you done that you want to decide on which side you want to have your zombies flushed i'm gonna have it go in this direction so what we need to do is place the water right over here at this edge and you can see since the room is 9x9 nine nine, and since the water travels 8 blocks it's going to stop right here at the end so what we need to do is actually create a two block deep chamber just like this i already done that so you guys don't have to see me digging down and you can see you basically need to do this and find the middle and just use yourself the spawner right here and we can create a little chamber right, here. right over here. Of course we're going to need to create a little platform but if you're doing this in survival of course we're just going to need to actually dig this out. We're just going to have some blocks right here and of course some blocks on top to make sure that they're not going to burn since we are doing this on the daylight. 
And what we need to do is actually go inside and place a water in this corner and the other one right here. You can see that the water is going to meet and they are basically going to go in this direction. Right here where the water actually stops, you want to have yourself blue ice if possible, if not just use packed ice. Then after that you're going to need a salt sand block just like that. And I'm just gonna use some glass over here so you guys can actually see the zombies later on through here. And we basically need to go ahead and build a little uh, tube going up. And basically you don't really need to have this going that far. We're just going to do something like this. And that should be enough just right there. And before you actually put in your water for the bubble column, what you want to do is actually block it off so we can have the water that's going to flush them into the killing chamber so just go ahead and build some of the blocks over here just like so we are gonna have the water right over here at this side so that way it can travel this side right here where we are actually gonna have our killing chamber the reason you need to do that beforehand is because if you had the bubble column right here and try to put the water the water is not gonna go past the bubble column so we need to block it beforehand so just go ahead and do something like that we are also going to have a little chamber over here where they can actually drop down so just go ahead and build something like that we are going to create a little platform right over here from the little tube that we have so just go ahead and do something like this and we can basically extend this later on but this is basically where all the zombies are going to drop down so what we need to do is actually put in the little chest over here so we can have the hoppers leading into it so that way we can actually collect all of the drops so just go ahead and do something like that we are just going to have a block temporarily right over here so we can have the hopper facing into the chest and we can basically sneak and put another run right over here above of uh, the first copper we're just going to have some glass right here and lead it all the way up just like so and of course we're going to leave a one block gap so we can actually hit them and have the iron trap door or any other kind that you want right here and basically uh, be able to kill all of the zombies without of the babies actually coming and killing you so what we're going to do right here is actually put in the little water but before we do that we are going to need a button right here to stop the water flow and also we're going to need two buttons right here above the ice and one above over here so the water is not going to spill right here into the zombie chamber so what we need to do is actually place in the water right here you can see we are going to create ourselves the bubble column then we need to block it off and have the water right here so that way it can go right there we can destroy this block and you can see the bubble columns are going to form again and they're basically going to flush the zombies over here up and in this water flow and they're basically going to end up in our killing chamber what you can do is basically cover this block so they can't actually escape over here and basically surround this over here i'm just going to use a little bit of the glass so you guys can actually see it and since i'm doing this in daylight i'm going to need to cover their heads up over here so they're not going to burn and basically just finish this off over here so just go ahead and place some glass and of course any block that you're using and doing this in survival with so you can see we have a really nice chamber right over here i'm also going to exchange uh, these little blocks over here for glass so you guys can actually see this a little bit better once we done that we need to actually put in the dispenser and the little piston that we're going to be using so the dispenser is going to go right here at the level where their heads are going to be and we need to have a piston right over here i'm just going to have to destroy a couple of the glass pieces temporary and we can basically rebuild that right here you should probably do that first before you actually destroy this and have the water flow everywhere but once we done that what we want to do is go ahead grab a safety block for choice and basically create a little platform over here where we can actually stand on and create a little wall over here where we can hide the redstone once we do that we need to basically hook up the redstone to the dispenser and the little piston right there go ahead and have ourselves the lever two blocks away from the actual dispenser we're going to need to create a little bit of the platform for the redstone to sit in and we also need an observer pointing into the dispenser right here just like so come on let us place it and there we go then we're basically going to have a little staircase leading to the piston right there and what we need to do is basically have some redstone dust right over here just like so and you can see everything is going to be hooked up now if we actually press it when uh, we have the water back in you can see that the water is going to be dispensed and the piston is going to prevent all of the other zombies from falling down 
when we actually click it again the water is gonna get retracted and the piston as well allowing all of the new zombies to drop down what we're going to do now is basically cover this up over here and put the zombie spawning right over here so that way we're actually gonna be able to have these zombies spawn from the spawner and cover this little hole over here so that way we're going to make the room really dark and the zombies are going to be able to spawn and I can already hear some of them spawning right here. You can see they're basically going to end up in this bubble column once these zombies actually push each other over here and all of them are going to end up in the killing chamber where we can again press the lever, dispense the water and activate our piston which is going to act like a little separation and we can basically wait for these guys to turn into the drown mobs and basically kill them for the drowned mobs that are going to end up in this chest right here but that's pretty much all there is for this farm as you can see it's really simple to set up all you need is a zombie spawner that you would set up normally and you just need this a bit of the redstone right here to turn them into the drowned mobs so yeah guys that's gonna have to do it for today's video if you guys have enjoyed it or find it useful make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new if you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content make sure to share with them but as always I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.